Alright man, not messing man. Let's get back to the the fun stuff. Yay! and then sure it's easy to slide it out, you know? Join us on this bushcraft adventure into history, building an Irish Celtic roundhouse from the Iron Age and medieval times. Every Friday, a new episode, until the roof is finally finished. Uploaded at noon Eastern Time US and 5 p.m. UK. Enjoy! Okay. These salts were harvested from the bog, seen in episode 11, and form just an underlayer on our roof. Therefore, they don't have to shed any water. The orientation in which they are laid is not so important, as long as there are not too many gaps in between and they lay relatively even over the roof, they should fulfill their function, on which later more. After pushing our pony conveyance through rough terrain in the previous episode, we seen our car strand with a broken wheel on the 8 km journey to the roundhouse, bringing the Skrarls to their destiny. Uh, we need pit stop, man. It's gonna fall apart any second. Actually, now it is. I don't think we can even go into the field. Yeah, it's any minute now. Or I'm just gonna put it right here. Yeah. Despite the search through old farmer sheds and online, we found a second-hand wheel of roughly the right dimensions. We had loved to dive into the craftsmanship of wooden yeah. wheel making, but this craft shouldn't be underestimated, and it could extend this project with another few weeks. Time we didn't have, and would also challenge your patience. Okay, moment of truth, Alan. You think it's gonna fit? Mm hmm. You do, yeah? A medieval centimeter. So the other one is smaller. Do you have a medieval measuring tape in the car? The car is not medieval, man. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> medieval hammer measuring. Alright. Make it home. It's more solid than ever before, didn't it? <laughs> oh, gee. You got it. You got it. 
get any lighter. What? Did you get any lighter? I don't think so. Toys? the fella that we were talking to there uh -huh. he had a story right what they used to do here the guys here right they would load up their donkey cart with clay uh -huh. right and uh -huh. the next day the next morning they would leave early drive the donkey cart to Loch Ray, the town uh -huh. where they wanted clay uh -huh. right and then dump the clay fill it up with topsoil because in the town they were digging away the topsoil uh -huh. put the topsoil back in because they could use the topsoil here for the for the fields and the gardens and, uh -huh. and it is one day, one trip to town and back. Really? Yeah. One day he said? Yeah. <laughs> so you come back in the evening. <laughs> huh? It's crazy. The times have changed, folks. Mm. The times have changed. For the coming weeks, I'll be camping out here in my hammock until the roundhouse roof is finished. Great opportunity to test out our new oil skin tarp from Bushcraft Spain. From historical documentation, we know that sods were used as a roofing underlayer or even singular roofing material since at least the medieval period, but likely earlier as well. They were used on many types of dwellings, farm buildings and also bully houses. We came across one of such bully houses during our dollar store survival challenge a few years ago on the Smooth Gefixed. A bully house was just a simple hut to stay in when livestock was grazing the higher mountain pastures during the summer months. Such house could very well have been covered with sods as this photo from the late 1800s shows. Going back to the medieval period these houses would have been similar but round instead. The following reference translated from Irish 
mentions the use of sods on bully houses. I should prefer a small round summer house, a hole in its salt roof, and I mind in the calves. The hole in its roof that was mentioned is likely a smoke hole for the inside fire. You know? Historical references mention that in general the scrawls were not fastened to the roof timbers. Their weight and length should be sufficient to keep them in place. But to be sure we just put a few hazel spars in which anchor just behind the horizontals of the roof frame and prevent the sods from sliding down. Yeah. We bottomed out on that one. There's a big difference in a relative short time. Yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. Nice and dark in there. Yeah, I'm happy there's still some light here, but not for long. It's gonna be, we're gonna have to get LED lights for the camera setup. Hmm? Ah, a blazing fire. <laughs> Most historical references on scraw relate to their use on roofs of square buildings, where the scraw rolls were generally carried on top of the roof and then rolled down, reaching all the way to the bottom of the roof with a single roll. Our roundhouse roof is however conical, making the scrawl laying a little more difficult. We were close to being finished already when we found the for us most effective way. Scraws were laid on the roof. It was time to light the first fire inside the darkened roundhouse. Oh no, it's damn at time first. But whoa, ho, ho, before you skip away, please keep watching. It's only about one minute and will be of great support to this project, which took a tremendous amount of time and also expense, donkey carts and the likes. With the video learning platform Wondrium, you can learn about anything really. History, survival knowledge and any topic you can think of. Wondrium used to be called the Great Courses Plus. But besides in-depth courses by skilled professors, Wondrium now also offers series, documentaries and all kinds of video formats to make you smarter. Like Netflix, but then it also makes you smart. Many, many topics. There's a great course on the fundamentals of going outdoors. I'll teach you how to set up a camp and properly plan a hike so you can stay comfortable in the day and sleep well at night. We'll cover outdoor cooking. You'll learn basic wilderness medicine. I'll teach you what to do if you're lost. Look, haven't we seen this before? Smooth fixed. You know, you can just take a trial for free and then you can see for yourself. Is it something for you? Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Please visit wonderium.com slash smooth fixed or click the link in the description below and start your free trial today. And thereby you also support our channel. Well, first fire hour. With this, the roof on. This something. Nice and smoky. <laughs> ah, a wet reed. Yeah, but we still left the, left a hole there and a few holes. Have some light in the meantime. Get more. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a smoke barrier. 
for me, mate. Yeah, but how much smoke are you from Look, 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 look. Yeah, but still, it's above our head. Yeah, so if you're sitting down here, you're golden, man. There's no... There's no stress. Yeah, but we're far from... Uh, Sealed up yet. Yes. <laughs> Man, it's thrilling. We over exaggerated the smoke a little bit. Uh -huh. People be worried now. You guys are gonna <laughs> die there. Well, we put on yeah. a bunch of wet reed. So. Yeah, it was all the leftover uh, bits and pieces from the from the shed thatching. Yeah, it's proper primitive now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but we keep it like this, Dylan. Mm, uh, I think you nearly could, but but maybe you'd want a little thicker. Like the idea, I guess, is that it starts to grow again by itself and then sort of yeah. like a living roof. Yeah, yeah. But it's but so a heavy. It's so heavy and it's wet, so you're gonna probably get, get very damp inside. Yeah. You get drips, and sure, it'll rot your roof frame when you're uh -huh. Yeah, putting up the straw in the end, you know, with them being a little lighter, it, it didn't go too. Uh, it wasn't too hard. I mean, you make some pace. You do a lot of square meters quickly. Yeah. We had a lot of patches. Uh huh. And I guess it's a good thing we use them, you know. But um. You get a lot of joints, you know, the smaller your pieces, the more joints. Uh -huh. And in the end, laying them horizontally was neater and tidier. Only if you're doing the top part, it's very hard to roll horizontally, I guess. Halfway horizontal and then uh -huh. yeah, stretch and the, and on the, the top, top bit. Uh, the next time, no. But no. what we did have more than enough straw. So we have nine, nine rolls left. Yeah, that's so, nice. So uh, you guys think of uh, <laughs> another project? To use the scraw for nine <laughs> big rolls nine big rolls so how long is a roll um three meters let's say three meters and they're half a meter wide nine wow. of those it, it make a nice sort of uh, the, um, outhouse uh -huh. but it'd be nice if we have that round too i think uh -huh. uh, next step is bunch of reed bring in the reed we we'll have to get it here and then touch it and then we can make a real fire uh-huh yeah, the, the smoke seabird is still uh, under, under exper experimental phase, mm -hmm. you know? Beta. Yeah, we'll have to cover it, because otherwise uh, <laughs> the weight uh, goes up by the... By the millimeter of rain on it. Uh-huh. A uh, very bad day for us. Yes, while. like uh, 30 millimeters. In 12 hours. Wow. That's pretty rough. I'm gonna get some tarps. It'll look like a, like a hobo hut again. <laughs> Yeah, with the blue building uh -huh. car, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big thanks to Wondrium for sponsoring this Roundhouse episode. Genuinely a great learning medium. Please check out what they have to offer with their free trial. On the next episode, the reasons for using scrawl on the roof are going to be clear with applying the other important material on the multi-layered roof. Thanks a lot for watching and consider supporting this project by becoming a Patreon.